Hey everyone, this is Frito Thug or Asia Raven and yep, the Game of Thrones season series finale which is season 8 episode number 6 which is titled The Iron Throne I guess. Let's see what happens. Tyrion is just walking through all of the destruction. Danny is going to die in this episode. She just has to. She's gone crazy even though I don't agree with how she got crazy. But she is mad now and she needs to go. So I'm not really sure if John is going to kill her or maybe Arya. They're on their knees. They are breathing. Grey Worm isn't going to listen to any of them. Jamie's gold hand? How is he able to find them so quickly? They weren't even buried that deep. It makes no sense. That's an incredibly pretty scene. Whoa. That she's a literal dragon or maybe the devil. Emilia Clark is acting quite incredibly here. Why not kill him right there? Why put him in prison? Yeah, Arya is going to kill Danny, or maybe John is. I'm not really sure. Or maybe both of them are going to try. Why is she allowing John to talk to Tyrion? Why? Where's the sense in that? How did he get himself to? How did he cover himself in all of that? How long did it take? In the books, if I'm not wrong, the, the Iron Throne is quite high. It's quite high up. They don't get to choose. Oh, she's gone crazy! John is going to kill her now, right? She's going, he's going to kill her now. It would have been awesome if Danny was the one who killed John. But she's just so starved for love. It's it's kind of sad. Drogon's here. Is Drogon going to try and attack John? I don't think so. Who closed her eyes? Did John close her eyes? So Drogon is melting the Iron Throne for some reason. He's taking her away. Oh, this scene. Took her away. Is she going to try? Is he going to try and resurrect her? It would be so awesome if she ends up becoming the White Walker and the circle continues because there were theories about the Night King being a Targaryen too. Cut your throat. <laughs> We've been cutting each other's throats long enough. Arya can kill them all, you know. I like to think my experience no is one cares, Edmure or Edmund or whatever your name is. Haha. <laughs> Democracy? Are they going to vote? Bran is going to be king? But that doesn't mean that he is capable of being a king. He can be an advisor. Is it? Was it really the wheel she wanted to break Tyrion? Wait, what? He knew about that? So Bran's been playing the game from the beginning? Where are the Unsullied even going to go? They can't, they can't even father children. How is this house going to survive? I'm back north. Arya, you could at least lie about coming to visit him. Just say, yeah, John, I'll come visit What's you. West of that was harsh. What's west, west of Westeros? Westworld? No one knows. New Pokemon it's region? So Brienne is writing about Jamie and I'm like, all of this could have happened. It made sense because of who Brienne is as a character, but they had to add in that Jamie Brienne romance where Jamie ha where Brienne had to beg for Jamie not to go. I wasn't a fan of that. Even if you take that out, the night they spent together, even if you take that out, Brienne was still going to write about Jamie because she respected him. It's that was just that was just a very weird plot plot convenience or plot device. I didn't I wasn't a fan of that. Sure. <laughs> Bran is like, I'm out of the meeting, you all talk. I'm going to go like white in my eyes or something. Dormant is like, why are you back, John? Why are you back? So that's the end. John and Dormant are going to live together now <laughs> in domestic bliss. <laughs> Finally he pet ghost. Finally. So Tormund, John and Ghost are going to live together. Bring on the fanfic. 
Arya's like, Westworld, I'm coming to explore you. Sansa's now the queen of the north, which, yeah, it makes sense. Good for you, Sansa. And Jon's going to go and live with Tormund and the Wild Kittlings. He's kind of happy. I think he's satisfied. He's okay with it. He's accepted his fate. But that's the end of the series. What did you think about it? It was okay. Uh, I mean, I've started growing disappointed with this last season ever since, what, see, episode 3 or 4, and then Danny ended up killing everyone, and we wrote a lot about it for The Geek Eerie, so make sure to check that out. We'll also be doing a written review of this episode of The Geek Eerie. The link to it will be down in the comment section below as soon as it goes up. As far as I'm concerned, I do think that Sansa should have been the queen, and Bronn should have been her advisor, but anyway, I guess they needed to break the wheel or whatever that meant, but Bronn is now king, Sansa is queen of the north, Arya is off to Westworld, Jon is going to live with Tormund and Ghost. Uh, they tried to tie up things as, ne as neatly as possible, even though, I mean, the problem isn't that Danny went mad. I'm okay with Danny going mad but i do think we needed at least two or three more episodes to really see why she was going there i do think that jrr martin is going to add a bit more in the books in the final books because i do think that in his final book danny is going to go mad as well but we are going to have a much more of an understanding about why she did what she had to do but anyway the series done nine years eight seasons and HBO is planning spin-offs, which are supposedly going to be prequels. So let's see what happens. Anyway, let me know what you guys thought down in the comment section below. And until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed. I'll see you guys later. Bye.